Hello and welcome back to Almost Solitaire and the replay of the Great War Scenario 6 The Fight for the Trenches We are playing as the Germans having a lead with three victory tokens or medals against none of the British so far um, We are now to begin turn 7 and the Brits go first and they have, again they get this left section uh, activation and again that's the least important sections, they have been really unlucky with these section cards to be honest so I will again try to see if they will play the tactician card to change that um, well, for now, actually, center could be an interesting one for them. But I think maybe the right is even more interesting. So let's see, first of all, if they play the tactician card and then we can decide which one they want. Okay, so this time they want to play it. So, the British player will pay two HQ tokens for activating that card. Grab two from that pile and... Well, now the question rises, should we activate the center or not? Uh, I can see some benefits in, in the center or the right. Here they uh, can attack basically two of my reduced units here. Also one with close combat actually. Uh, maybe this one will go for a ranged battle. Another option would be to just combat with one of these and actually get those guys into cover. But... I don't know, they are kind of safe there. I mean, they have guys here that blocks the line of sight. Of course, from here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, these, these cannot even fire at those guys. So they are pretty much safe right now. The only thing that could hit them is actually artillery. Maybe my trench mortar here. One, two, three, four, five. No, even the trench mortar ha doesn't have their required range to attack these guys. So they are pretty safe there. So I think if we go for this section we'll activate these two units and attack. If we would uh, activate the center we have a target here, the guys that I advanced for my uh, upcoming attack here in the center and he could get some pretty heavy stuff happening here. I mean, he has a machine gun here, so he will get three dice here, and then he could also close combat if he wants to. Uh, yeah. And there's also this option to move away something, maybe move these guys here and move these in and get fire with those instead. That's another really good option actually, because these guys I think they want to get in cover because I have been putting some artillery here all the time and he has just been lucky that I haven't hit him in there yet. So, I think it's a 50-50 again, so I will, I will roll for which section he will activate. So let's say 1, 2, 3 here and 4 to 6 is the center section. And he goes actually for his right. So, uh, is there anything I can pay? No, uh, play? No, I cannot. So, what he will do then is to stay put with those guys, but he will do another try to pin down my uh, machine gun here. And at the same time, he can get uh, a good close combat here now, right? Well, 
one bad thing for him is he has already played his command card for this turn. Oh, sorry, the combat card for this turn. So he cannot use any of his actually two cool close combat uh, booster cards it has. He has his Battle Fury and the Hand Grenade, but he cannot benefit of any of those this turn. But I think that's uh, all movement we're doing, so now we go to the fire phase. And these guys has only one target, so we start with those. So he attacks with three dice here against my machine gun unit. And he, well, actually he scored one hit and he forces me to retreat. I'm down to one. This is an interesting case. You know, I cannot retreat here, of course. I can retreat one or two hexes. Two would be Well, I got, could get in cover behind these, of course, if I retreat two, but on the other hand, I'm out in the open. Hmm. No. I go with one. Would I be look lucky I can put some fire here? Eventually. Okay, so he has the option to enter this hex now. Uh, I mean, now his Battle Fury would really have been uh, good, but... Well, he has already played this card for this turn, so it's not possible. So maybe we'll stay there. I mean, I can... Yeah. Yeah, let's stay there. Okay, so for the other guy who will fire with two dice, we pick this unit, uh, the rifle unit where I have... Um, only two uh, soldiers left. I was thinking, no, he can. He, he doesn't see this guy. I mean, he could have fired with one die here to try to kill it. But as I have units here, they are actually blocking, even though that guy is on a higher level. But two two dies against that guy in the flank, and nothing. So, that ends his activation, we give him another card, and we'll check the HQ token status, he has 5 of these, so let's see if he wants to grab more of those, uh, yeah, he will grab more HQ tokens. So, he got back those two he paid for, and then we have to discard option I was thinking of that but maybe that could be handy remember that I if you saw my last with the other go with that rule for the Metahari spy card we can repeat that when when and if it is uh, activated okay we're ready with a British turn then and move on to our turn. We have three in the middle or an assault right. Uh, I'll go for the assault right this time. I want to begin to bring up my bomber units here. The only thing that bothers me is... Ah well, it's... And I was thinking I'm blocking my line of sight of my machine gun, but it's anyway so far away, so I only get one die attack there, so that doesn't matter too much. So what I will do is to Yeah, I will go for a full charge here. I'll do a close combat here. Ah uh, maybe not. Let's take it a more little more piano and just move up these guys 
those they put, I will put some fire here these guys hmm. ah, that just stay there I think but these guys I want to move they rush up to the readout so I got more bombers coming in which is really good and that's basically it. Oh, again, I could have played one of these. I always forget that. <sighs> nah. I'll let it be. Okay, so. Ah. Uh. Okay, so go. Let's uh, go to the combat phase then. So we could start with these guys. I think I will be attacking his machine gun there. That's the biggest threat to me. So I'll attack with two dice there, hoping to get a hit. No, but I got a hit good token. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't move that guy, right? He was in the center section. Okay, he cannot fire actually. I cannot uh, activate that guy. Sorry. So it's only these three then. That. So this guy. Okay, let's say it was this guy who fired. So I will grab the HQ token anyway. Uh, so it was this guy who fired against that one. And nothing happened. So. And my machine gun is too far away from his advancing machine gun, so you cannot put any fire there. So, well, I don't know. That wasn't that wasn't worth to call it an assault, right? <laughs> Just uh, some small advance here, and yeah, whatever. Okay, let's grab another one. More on the right. Maybe I will do some more text there then, next turn. Um, I have six HQ tokens, two cards. I think I'll opt for getting another card, which is a physician. Okay, that's the one I can pay HQ tokens to get back those uh, losses on one unit. Uh, and it must be an ordered soldier unit, yeah, okay. So, I think that's turn seven then. We can move on to turn eight right away. Okay, so the British, look at this, another one on their left. Uh, and it's a recon left, so the. Mm, I will actually. You know, this is not a race against time, so they cannot get the victory medal for playing a recon. But they have to. in some way benefit of this. So I will actually grab two at the end of a turn and choose one which is the best one for them. Okay, so. They cannot change that, but they could play this Messenger Pigeons card, meaning uh, they can activate also one in the center and one on, on their right. So let's see if they want to do that. Nope. Let's see if they want to play the Matahari Spy card then. Yes, okay. So let's... Uh, recap the meaning of this in the my solitaire system so I will directly discard my two cards grab another one that I cannot see now which one it is and for the next two turns I will also just grab one 
card for me which I cannot see until it's time to play so first of all the British player will pay 5 HQ tokens for this card and we right away throw these guys away like that and take a secret card for me and then we just continue uh, with the activation here so you could either put actually you could also uh, I was thinking of putting up some artillery fire, but he only has two of those HQ tokens, so it's not worth it, I think. So, the two options put some fire with the trench mortar one, two, three, four, five hexes away. Five hexes away is, I think, a one die attack, yeah. Okay, now we'll just continue the slow advance with the machine gun here and when machine gun moves he cannot fire so that's done so we discard that draw two new for the British player and actually <laughs> look at this this is crazy they, they got two left cards again Well, well, well. I think I'll keep this one for the British then because at least they can activate some artillery with this. Even though he still only has two, but he can grab probably two new of those, depending on this roll. It's a seven, so yeah, they will grab actually two new of these, meaning they could do a full barrage if they wanted um, yeah so that's that it's my turn 8 and we'll see what card we got here okay we got a probe right Probe right. I think first of all I just have to put artillery here now. This is my chance to get a good hit. And for the other one I'll just should I go with the close combat already? Yeah I should. These guys will also activate and advance here. like that and I will do a full barrage that's my three HQ tokens to pay that and I will put it want to avoid friendly fire here I'll just put it here in the open. Let's see. Okay, so we hit with apart from doubles, we hit with twos, roll of three, and a roll of fours. Yeah, so let's see. We got no doubles, nothing in the center hex. We got one, two, which is hitting there. The 4 is hitting there, and the 3 is hitting there, the 1 goes outside, so this is where we hit. Let's start with the machine gun out in the open, so there's no cover there, so everything counts. It's a hit, so he loses one of his guys there, they have been staying out in the open for a long time now. Let's take the other machine gun in the trenches, um, ignores that. And then we have this 
unit in the band. Oops. Let's do that again. And that's a burst, so I hit him for one like that and remove this stuff. And now we can actually also do a close combat. And this guy has no retreat path. So hmm. let's see what happens. Okay, he got one loss and I get one HQ token for that. So he's is he's is now down to two. And there's nothing he can retaliate with, no. So he's done. And remember we pick another one for me which is hidden. And then I have three cards, four of these. I will actually grab two additional ones. Like that. And we are ready for turn nine. Okay, so we are ready to take on turn nine. And we all actually know what the British have. It's a three on their left, which is here. So That means they could activate their machine gun, the trench mortar, and also put artillery into work. We could also see if they now play these messenger pigeons. We will activate battlefield one battlefield unit in the center and one in on their right. So I think they want to try that. So let's roll for that. Nope. So they go for a uh, for this one, meaning I will use that for a barrage instead. Okay, so I think it makes sense not to move his machine gun this time. Just fire at my guys here because if he moves here, I mean, he just gets adjacent to me, cannot attack, and no, he, he it's no not more cover there than where he is now, right? And also he's on these two section hex here, so he can more easily be activated again from there. So I think that guy will put, stay put and fire. We also will fire with the trench mortar. One, two, three, four to these hex fighters. So you could get a two hex, two dice attack here, and we will also try a new barrage. And I think we'll put the bomber unit as a target back there. So uh, let's place a template here like that because we need to start with that we pay four for the barrage and the British get to roll four dice for this attack so we will also hit with twos and fives okay he got a double and a two so the two will hit on my machine gun and the double will hit on my um, bomber unit. We start with the bomber unit. And there he got one hit. <clears throat> and since it's a bomber unit, a special personal unit, we need to check if the special personal... In this case the bomber is also eliminated. Nope, we it requires a roll of a deadly die to remove that guy, so we're fine there. And we got a one die attack there too. 
That's actually a burst, so he hits us there. And our machine gun. Ah, okay. Pretty good barrage. Considering it was a trench cover barrage. So, for the next attack, we'll start with the mortar here. One, two, three, four hexes here. So he will get the two dice attack against my advancing unit. And that's one hit oh, due to the burst symbol. Okay, our losses are counting now. And that's not all. He also got the three dice attack from his machine gun, which is deployed out in the open, firing into a trench. But it's pretty close anyway. No, no hits, but he gains one HQ token though. Okay. Let's check well, if he wants to grab more of those. So anything other than a one, yep, he will grab more HQ tokens. Okay, and he still doesn't want to, and he cannot. Yeah, he can. He has, hasn't played any card actually this turn, so he could discard one, but he has good cards. Okay, let's grab another one for the British, and we reveal what we have for our turn 9. Okay, a Pro Bright. Hmm. Yeah, so I think we'll activate that guy, try to eliminate that rifle unit there that cannot retreat. And we have loads of I think at the other one it will be a barrage again. Artillery barrage. Yeah. So. Could pay, pay one to actually. Hmm. Nah. It's only one, one guy down there, so it's not worth to pay that card yet I think. Let's go with this. So I pay three for my barrage and again I will have this as my target hex meaning rot of two, three or four is also a hit apart from and also the of course any doubles. No double, but we got a two and a four. So both his machine gun units are attacked with with one die each. Let's start with a guy in the open that has no cover. That's another burst. He's down to two now. And then we have this guy in the trench. Nope. Okay, that guy it's a bit critical there now. So we still had this close combat against his rifle unit there. It's three dice. And it's one hit and I get one HQ token. So he's down to one now. Things look a bit bad here now for the British. I mean, much. I mean, the reason is very much that he only gets activations here. 
Okay, I'm still under the effect of the Matahari spy, so I will only grab one. This is the last turn, I will grab only one card, though. I think. Yeah, I think from in, at the end of the next turn, I, I will draw two again. My usual amount of cards. So, yeah, we still have this four, three cards. I'll grab this, think, and I'm done. Meaning I will not discard. I was thinking maybe discarding this, but no, nah, maybe it could be handy in a way. But okay, we have played three turns again, turns uh, seven through nine, and well. We've seen some action. We have been pushed back here from a very good position here with a machine gun, which is also badly reduced now. Uh, so if the British would get an activation here on this flank, I would think I'll advance and finish this guy off. Uh, nothing happened in this sector. We have seen some more action here. Uh, a British barrage hitting in my back trench. Uh, killing off actually one of my bomber and one of my machine gun units. But more action here in the British sec sector of the redoubt. And also out in the open here. I, he has been really badly... badly decimated there and I had taken some minor losses and too bad for him he, he hasn't been able to you know pull his guys from out from the open into the trenches uh, he needs some activations in the center and he's right to do that oh yeah but that that guy is quite safe it's more urgent for these guys to get into cover since I have troopers really close to him there. Okay, no more about this. We just close this video now I think and we will be back for turn 10. Yes, thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Bye.